Tortoises, the first thing it has to be said, are mainly vegetarian. And the species that we'll be focusing on in this video are the Mediterranean ones. In a typical garden, there's a lot of plants that tortoises will enjoy eating. This is a typical example known as chickweed and anything, of course, in the dandelion, clover, a wide range of um, small herby plants that they will feed on very readily. And these have a varied range of ingredients and so it's much better to use a range of foodstuffs for them than it is to just focus on feeding one particular type. People often worry about what tortoises might eat in the garden that would be harmful to them but in reality they've got a very strong sense of self-preservation when it comes to food and they won't eat plants that are likely to be toxic to them. There's been very little work carried out though on toxicity and tortoises when it comes to feeding. It's important to err on the side of caution. There are certain plants that you should never offer your tortoise. These include anything that grows from a bulb. So daffodils, bluebells, all those types of garden plants should never be offered as food to a tortoise. There are also a number of wild plants that are potentially harmful, uh, particularly ragwort could be in this category. They shouldn't be offered fruit like strawberries because the sugar content of these is, is excessive and is likely to give your pet diarrhea. Go online and look for lists of plants that are safe and recommended for wherever you are in the world. This has been a real innovation in terms of uh, feeding tortoises. And it's a mixture of specially selected plants that you can grow very easily at home in your garden and create a small mini tortoise paddock where your pet can wander and browse and enjoy these plants. Very easy to sow, as I say. Start in the spring before your tortoise is ready to go out from hibernation. And then by the time that things have warmed up, the plants will be growing well and your pet can get maximum benefit from fresh food full of vitamins at that stage of the year. It's so much better to grow your own than it is to rely on supermarket greens because they actually have very little nutriment for a tortoise. Lettuce, for example, it's great as a treat occasionally because tortoises will eat that very well, but really it's only a source of fluid. It's nothing more in terms of nutrients compared to, say, dandelions, which are found in a mix like this, which have more calcium in them than a glass of milk. These pellets have been carefully researched and tested to see that they meet the requirements of tortoises, providing a useful nutritional lift to their diet over and above that of plant matter. They haven't got that natural give that a tortoise is used to in its food. And one of the ways that people are getting around that is to suggest soaking them, but you've got to do it in such a way that you don't put so much water in, you flood the pellets and they break down and dissolve because then the tortoise will have no interest in them at all. The other thing that has to be said is that once they have been soaked, they have a very limited period in which they can be kept safely and offered to your tortoise. So only soak a small amount for your tortoise. There's a range of specially formulated powder supplements that you can now acquire for your tortoise. Because the food has actually been washed off first, just in case it had been contaminated by any wild animals, um, you can see that it actually sticks very well to the uh, surface of the leaves. If you use too much of a supplement on a regular basis, the chances are it could affect your tortoise's health. So always read the instructions concerning the amount of a supplement that you should be using and measure it out carefully before you put it onto your tortoise's food. <laughs>